Good morning, beautiful people. What's up, guys? We are very busy around the house here, getting it's settled, crazy. trying to like just unpack a lot of stuff and put together a lot of furniture. And uh, we have some other things that we're trying to take care of today too. Lincoln, are you saying hi? Mom. Yeah, Linky's gonna actually hang out here with Kira because we're taking the other three boys to go renew their passports because all of them have expired. Yeah. Stephen and I have not expired, so that's I got good. Passport. Yeah, but the the other boys are gonna get their passports. Uh, the passport photos taken and we found a place that is going to get us in this afternoon which is really good because we've heard it's taken a long time to get passports lately and we are leaving like very end of September so we yeah. really need to hurry and have this expedited so we're going to do that today and then come back and finish putting together a little bit more furniture yes. and we can kind of show you some of the rooms nothing's really organized at this point but we're like <laughs> making progress which is you know oh, a good yeah. thing so yeah just trying to take care of a few things but we're going to go do the passports first thing Okay, so we just finished up getting our passports renewed and that was a pretty easy process. So quick. And awesome. but yeah, we got to just walk in today and everywhere <laughs> else, like closer to our house, they were saying we we're gonna have to wait until the end of August. And I so, called like 14 different places and they're yeah. like, sorry, we're booked up and so. Crazy, this is like 45 minutes from our way. house, yeah. this little town, but uh, they just had like no line. So that was really great. <laughs> we got that expedited. That should come in a few weeks before our trip and yeah. Now we're gonna head home and we've got a lot to do and I'm gonna try to get some more furniture put together when we get back home and continue to settle into our new house. Yeah. How do you guys how do you guys feel about having your passports and everything that we need to officially go on our trip? A lot better. Than That'd be lot excited, better. I guess. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I'm excited. I guess getting passports is probably not the most exciting yeah. process. Yeah. But having them is really great, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Then you get to go. Country. Then you get to go. Woo! Hello, welcome to my room. I still, I still like, you know, I still try and put a lot of stuff. That's why I bought a lot of stuff. But yeah. here's the mostly I like. Wow, dude, that light is so cool. Yeah, that's, that's why the reason I got that I light. I love it. <laughs> yeah, look. Look my pantry. Oh, okay. Your pantry? I mean, no, no. <laughs> Your closet? Look, look at my closet. Okay. Three, Show. two, one. Oh, wait, never mind. Oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> yeah, that's right. <laughs> Ta da! Here you go. Here you go. I'm just okay. letting you guys know. Just head up. This is not done yet, okay? We that's still, up. It's not done. We still have to do so something. So cool. She's got her. <laughs> that's so many snacks. That's amazing. Well, you know, I'm going to spend a couple months more eating that. Yeah, right? This is super cute, kiddo. She's got this cool sticker on the closet and just got all her books and then the world's largest snack. <laughs> and then you've got some coat hooks. That's super cool, kiddo. That's well cool. Done. Yeah. You got and your desk. Just what is this? Uh, a trash can. Yeah. You're nice. right. Nice. Uh, Set I the bed up. up. We're good to go. You got a cool little mirror. So much light in you here. You know why I got this? Oh, you I got, got a new desk. So you're going to do two desks. No, 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 no. This? You're going to get rid of this desk and do that? No, 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 no. This <gasps> desk. Okay, oh. Right here. It's like so for I over the bed so you can like sit. Just sit there. Growl while watching show, eating that snack. That's perfect, right? Nice. Like, you know. That's perfect. So. Meanwhile, what's happening while Penelope showed me her room is Jude came up and yeah. he's rubbing my shoulders, which is amazing. You're actually so good at massage therapy. You should consider it as a, a trade. No. No, you could do sports massage and like make yeah. all the money from the pro athletes. Sure. But you will be the pro yeah. athlete, yeah. so. You could just massage your own shoulders. I need a thousand bucks for that. <laughs> We 
have had quite a weekend so far and I didn't even pick up the camera yesterday, but it is Sunday now. We got back from church a couple of hours ago and everyone's just kind of resting a little bit, which is like very appreciated because we've been going, going, going so much lately. So Steven's actually making some homemade ranch dressing right now and we're gonna have some taco salad this evening. I have been craving it so badly and he makes the best ranch dressing ever. Hey, hey. Lincoln's over here. Oh, he was, yeah. <laughs> like falling asleep he ate some snacks and stuff and then was just like taking a little nap like leaning down over there oh linky are you tired you know you're tired when you fall asleep mid snack oh my goodness so steven's ranch dressing guys is just literally the best ranch dressing you could ever eat and <laughs> it is really garlicky though which we all know how much steven loves his garlic yes. right we have our enormous <laughs> bag of garlic over here <laughs> and um so do you want to tell everybody like just how to make it because we always get um, you know questions and stuff in the comments section every sure, time yeah. we show any of your delicious creations so you chop up we have fresh parsley right here mm -hmm. not italian parsley just parsley parsley regular parsley and then normally i would use chives but they got us green onions instead which they're pretty close to the same but you have to chop them a little fire with that one and then you do uh, mayonnaise uh, milk a little bit of sour cream, copious amounts of garlic, <laughs> dill. Sometimes I use fresh dill. Today we're using dried dill. I think I like it a little better. It tastes a little less herbal, if it makes sense. I don't know. And then onion powder, garlic powder, salt, lots of coarsely ground black pepper. Yeah. And then you just mix it all up and make it delicious. And it's so good! <laughs> so good. Also, I squeezed one whole fresh lemon into here, which is gonna really, actually, sounds like you would think lemon juice would make it more liquidy, but it actually thickens it up. I'm not sure how that works, hmm. but it definitely helps, which is pretty cool. So we're gonna make dinner first for everybody before we do a few things around the house. We're gonna put together our bed this evening yeah, that we've fine. had. We had it in storage. I bought this like a year ago. Yeah. Um, I saw it on sale. I really, really loved it. And so I was like, I'm just gonna go ahead and get it because sometimes it takes forever to ship things, which of course it came in like a year early. But um, I'm super excited now that we're gonna be able to put that together this evening. I can show you. This yeah. chef's knife folded steel sent it to me a whole knife kit. Can I show, can I show them? Sure, sure. Look at this. This is like the manliest thing I've ever owned, I feel like. Like they sent me this for Father's Day. Yeah, those are and, awesome. And uh, they're so cool, dude. I actually have a, a little bit of a link you guys can use if you are interested. This is my favorite one right here. It's the Serbian chef knife. Wow. It's so cool, man. <laughs> oh my goodness. I feel like one of those like wilderness cooks. You know how they like <laughs> throw the onion on and catch it? Out in like the wilderness. You gotta go awesome. bake over some like I rocks do. and like open flames and stuff. <laughs> like, hey, Steven, you could do that on your camping trip. I That's could. Right. I'm taking the boys camping. We're going to Yellowstone and Glacier National Park this week, like yeah. leaving in two days. So we're really excited. I should probably bring some of these knives. Yeah, you totally could. Good idea. Yeah. Good idea. Hunt your dinner and then cook it over an open flame, babe. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Maybe not. Probably can't hunt in Yellowstone. Oh yeah, that's Probably a get good point. For that. <laughs> a really good point, a really good point. But yeah, dinner, and then we're gonna put our bed together, and I'm gonna show you some of the organizing that I'm doing around. And then around. we're putting the Christmas tree up. We're it's not putting the Christmas tree up yet. He would totally put it up tomorrow if he could, um, but that's gonna be epic. It's gonna be epic when we finally have Christmas, our first Christmas in this house, for sure. Uh, but yeah, just trying to do a lot of organizing, trying to do a lot of unpacking. I did actually unpack quite a few boxes in the kitchen. The kids have been a really good help. Um, here's like one of the last boxes to unpack for the kitchen. So I'll call that a win. A lot of the other rooms, they're just like not even close. Like the kids' rooms, it's gonna take a while to kind of get those all put together. Um, but they've been really great helpers, so they just get to have a little afternoon here resting and watching some of their shows. Delicious herbal ranch dressing, herb ranch dressing. I don't know what it's you like call it. It's like bubbling. <laughs> yeah. But it's got to thicken up for a little bit in the fridge. So yeah. we'll go ahead and put it in there. And then we will show you the bed that we're going to be putting together before the Christmas tree. And. Uh, oh <laughs> my gosh! 
Welcome to our messy bedroom. <laughs> <laughs> so currently we have our mattress on the floor, but it's a real mattress. It's it not is a real mattress. mattress. And so I am so happy to have this sleeping on the floor. I haven't felt like too much pressure to put the bed together because we're still sleeping like so comfortably. Mm -hmm. um, and I just like, there's just no comparison between like a real nice mattress and sleeping in an RV. But Steven did go ahead and take the bed out of all the boxes and stuff. And it is a, is it four poster or a, it, a canopy bed? A canopy bed. Canopy yes. bed is what it's called. And I am so excited. It's got like a white linen headboard and then this kind of distressed wood. Ooh, linen. <laughs> but I love the distressed wood. We've never done like a canopy bed before or yeah. anything like that. We've always had kind of like sleigh beds and more traditional styles, I guess you would call it. But I really do like canopy beds. So I think this is gonna turn out really, really pretty. And it shouldn't take that long, right? I don't think it's going to. I think it's gonna take like five minutes. I keep like putting it off because I'm like, oh, this is gonna be like such a big Hopefully thing. not famous last words, but I think it's gonna take like five minutes. We still have to put the, the other kids' beds together too. <laughs> yeah. We took a long time putting Ethan and Lincoln's bed together. Yeah. And Jude and Liam's loft beds just came in. So I don't think we definitely can't do that today, but that is gonna be another big project that we'll be doing th this week at some point. Yes. But they're so excited because they have very tall, like teen loft beds with desks underneath. And so they'll have their cool like spaces to hang out. And so I'm really excited about that. But this one shouldn't take too, too long. So we'll do it right after dinner. Can I just say that it's so nice to have awesome, helpful teenagers that That's, love to yeah. cook. All of our kids are, great cooks and they all help out. Yeah. Is that chili powder that you put in? Yes. So we are doing, I don't know if I mentioned this, taco salad for a lot of us, but we have a bunch of tortillas as well. So some of the kids will do tacos instead. Um, but I have really wanted taco salad. I did, yeah, I did, I did a good with salt already. All right, all right, way to go. <laughs> I should probably add some more. No, <laughs> okay. So I will say in our family, Steven is one who tends to over season things. I and I season. tend to under season things. Okay, he perfectly seasons things and I sometimes <laughs> under season things. But I will say you have been known to over season. So Every once in a while. There was occasionally. once recently where I was trying to make taco meat and the whole bottle of cumin, the like Bro. the top fell off and the whole thing went in and I was like, this will be over season. <laughs> <laughs> but that's not on purpose. Like that was just like, you know, an accident. But yeah, we, we do tend to differ in how much we season things. I like things really seasoned. I just tend to like, think that I'm putting more in than I am. And then I'm like, oh, I could yeah. use a little bit more, you know, salt or garlic or whatever it is. But he always adds plenty. Plenty and it's, of garlic. It is good. I love, I love having We did do, um, we showed you this earlier. We did do a grocery haul yesterday. And yeah. So we'll actually, that'll be the next video. Mm -hmm. But this is like the world's largest bag of garlic. And <laughs> it is. It's awesome. Yeah, which comes in handy because we love our garlic. <laughs> we love the garlic. We're gonna make some yummy salad. Salad. Yeah, he says that sounds good. Link, you love salad, don't you? He really does. He's a salad eater. Oh my gosh, that smells so good. The garlic. Oh yeah. Yeah, that does smell good. Let's chop this lettuce really fine because I, I like it better when it's not like big. <laughs> this is so aromatic. Oh. He's so happy. We're gonna make some yummy food. So I know I've said this in previous vlogs that I don't actually really like tomatoes, but in more recent years, I have decided that I do like tomatoes, especially little yellow and orange heirloom tomatoes. They are so good, like chopped up onto salad. It's just one of my favorite things. I need to wash this lettuce. Do you want to help me wash the lettuce? See, I'm you? washing lettuce. Yum. Okay. <laughs> I'll eat like three bowls of this stuff. You just gotta chop it really finely. Yeah. So finely like this. Like that. Guys, you have to chop it like that. <laughs> chop it like that, guys. That's how you chop salad. When you think it's just B-roll and that no one's hearing you. Oh, that's going in, babe. <laughs> that's making it in the vlog. Spice rack. It's a triple decker spice rack. I've got my brisket beef tallow in the top oh, here that I can use. Baby. And then I've got all kinds of stuff. 
This is so handy and I'm so happy. Yeah, this is gonna be fun. We've got a lot more space to fill stuff up too. I think we need to make a, a reel that says, or a short or whatever, things about my kitchen that just make sense. And we can just start with this. Look at that. so huggy lately. Extra huggy, you're so nice. Also, part two of things about our kitchen that just makes sense. Many of you asked in the home tour, what about your hood vent? That's How right. do you get rid of all the things? We have no hood There's vents. none. Well, watch this. That's the low, that's the high, but it actually there, sucks guys. down. We have a vent that goes through the cabinet, draft. under the floor, and out the house, right under that window. Yep. It's a downdraft, and thereby we can cook, we can suck all of our smoke and whatever out of here without having to obstruct the view and the wide openness right. of the street, which yeah. is A-OK -okay with me. Yeah, we wanted it to be like nice and open, which I think is, you know, it's great. Big win. Yeah, but having like a downdraft here is really, really helpful. Obviously, with, with the gas stove, they said like legally we had to have, had to have some sort of ventilation. Yeah. If it was like the um, electric cooktop, then we wouldn't have had to, but, right. and we were kind of going back and forth, but we decided ultimately that we really did want to go ahead and have a gas cooktop it's, here. And it's also a lot quieter than every other ventilation. Amanda's always yeah. like, turn the vent on. And I'm like, I hate the sound of it. it yeah. I can't hear anything when I'm, my head is next to a vent. Right. So this is like way quieter and I can hear her when she's telling me things. I know, yeah, <laughs> which is kind of interesting, but like, I didn't realize that you could do this kind of thing. I didn't realize that downdrafts were a thing, but they are and I'm very pleasantly surprised with ours. <laughs> You stinker. You guys didn't see this, but he was like giving me big hugs as we were talking about the stove top. And he's like, fine, I'll go to daddy because daddy's going to give me the attention. I got you. You're so silly. Oh. He's like, do it more. I hate the big boy. I hate the big boy. I have got the eight year old, not quite the baby boy. <laughs> yeah, he's Linky. Linky, you have a birthday next month, don't you? Like, <laughs> yeah, keep going, keep going. Keep going, Dad. <laughs> I have got the baby boy. I have got the baby boy. Oh. I have got the baby boy. I got you. <laughs> <laughs> so Link is having his birthday next month. He's going to be eight years old. Like that is mind blowing to me. Still feels like yesterday. He was two years old. That we're meeting him a few days before his birthday, bringing You're him so home. Big. He's such That's a big so boy big. now, Linky. Uh, so proud of you. That's a good workout. The salad is ready. We're gonna put some of the ground beef on top of it as well, but I like to add that after the fact and so that the lettuce doesn't get quite as mushy. I don't know. Mm -hmm. uh, so we're going to go ahead and do this, and Lincoln is like ready, aren't you? Lincoln? Like, Please feed me now. And then Stephen is gonna put the tortillas on the stove top to warm them, and the kids really like it that way. So these little ones from Costco are so good. These are organic tortillas. Delicious. 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 You ready, Linky? I'm gonna toss the salad up and eat. Okay, Linky, come sit down. It's time to eat. Really? One for you. Is that the last? 
He's eating my chocolate, Actually, guys. Pray for him. There's a little bit of that. Hugh Chocolate, we love you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you for sending me the sweetest care package. Love you. All right, all right. Now we gotta get to work. So be so careful, Amanda. Oh, you got to be so careful. Should put this audio in so people know how weird you are. I'm leaving the heavy stuff to this guy because he's. Better at it. Okay. Do they just hook in? Oh, yeah. I've been trying they to just kind of hook in. They just have these like little hook things on there. And so I think they hook to the headboard and the footboard here. And then you screw them together. And then we've got like the actual slats and stuff that go on the side there. Woo! This is going to be simple, isn't it? There are a couple of um, like things that go up here, but. That just goes we'll just from the sides, right? Like, yeah, we'll yeah, yeah, pull yeah. this against out. That will probably be the only like drilling we have to do, though, so that's nice. So the bed is put together and the camera died so I'm just using my phone real quickly to show you guys but we have our old bedspread on here and I have a nice new one coming that is like a light natural color with its linen and just really light and bright so that it's gonna look really nice with it but this works for now and I love the way that it turned out I'll put it all together tomorrow and kind of show you guys just the finished result but I'm very very happy with this bed I think it's really pretty I'm gonna love it for years and years okay guys so it is Monday now it is Monday, my dudes. We just had a little bit of a drama, a little dramatic thing happening, and- <laughs> Am I the drama? I am keeping this in perspective. I am grateful for our home. I am grateful that we're not living in the RV. I don't want to sound like I'm complaining. And I, <laughs> I, I posted this on Instagram and had a couple people that are like, just be grateful. I am grateful. <laughs> However, it is disappointing when you spend money on a home. Yeah, Linky, it is disappointing when you spend money on a home and it doesn't work properly. So we've had a few issues moving in and this refrigerator here is the current one. So the freezer has been kind of glitching and not working properly so we didn't have food in that freezer and we have um, had like a service order out for someone to come out and to um, fix the freezer, right? We didn't know what was wrong but it was not properly cooling. So we were using the downstairs freezer and for stuff and just, <laughs> yeah, and just kind of running back and forth which is fine, okay, that's fine. Um, but we were using the refrigerator. So then the service guy comes out this morning and he said the sensor is defective and the fridge and the freezer are not working and it was starting to like build up with ice in the refrigerator. And so he was like, uh, you've got to like turn this off completely. Do not use this. And it's not like, it, because it's like a built-in refrigerator, like it's a back ordered part. And so he's like, it's gonna be at least a couple of weeks, um, you know, best case scenario. So. Um, so that being said, I have seven children that I'm trying to feed and we're trying to be healthy and they're <laughs> in the fridge constantly. And so I, it could be really great exercise to run up and down the stairs like 50 times a day, but I convinced him to help me move the refrigerator upstairs, especially cause he and the boys so are leaving. Will be gone. Yeah, they're leaving tomorrow. tomorrow for like eight days. And I'm like, I would really love to just be able to have a refrigerator in the kitchen. So he has a dolly and he, and the boys. I didn't vlog it because honestly, 
it wasn't it wasn't fun for him. So I didn't, I didn't vlog it. Carrying it up the hill. Was yeah. Great job. I promised him I'm gonna massage his shoulders really, really good. Hi, Linky. He's very, very grateful to have He's a refrigerator up here too. Um, so I promised him a really good neck and shoulder massage tonight. But he did bring up our downstairs refrigerator, which is hilarious. It looks so small compared to the one over there. But um, but we have a fridge and a freezer that is working in the kitchen, and so. I'm very grateful for that. I know that was not fun for you. It's go. It's but I over. I appreciate it so It's over much. and that's fun. <laughs> yes. World's best husband right here. And so I'm very grateful for that. Also, our um, Roman shades for the master bedroom came in, so I want to I can hang those up, babe. You don't have to worry about that. Thank you. But I want to show you guys they're kind of like a jute, like a natural kind of tan color. Um, so I think that's gonna look really nice. And then the boys, um, the boys' loft beds also were delivered, and so we need to at least take those upstairs to their rooms. And then I might try to put them together while you guys are gone. <laughs> It'd be really cool to have them put together yeah, when the boys get back surprise. from their trip. So I'm very excited about that. Boys, do you want to help us carry? They're over here. Say hi. Hi. Do you guys want to help us carry your um, loft beds up to your room real quickly? No, y'all got it. <laughs> <laughs> We've got it. Dad's really strong. He just moved a whole refrigerator, so you know he should be good with that. Okay, so um, the boys were getting out kind of some of their camping stuff from storage, so they're gonna be loading up the truck. I don't know why they unrolled them then. Maybe they got a little bit wet or something. But these are the big loft beds for the boys, and we need to put that together. Angus, yeah, wait, what'd you see, buddy? 101 pounds, I could take that. 100 pounds each? I could take it. One on each side, that's that just 50 pounds per person. That's, that's, that's easy. Fun. You, you're gonna get one. Can you boys get the other one? Let's try not to bang <laughs> up the walls. A, there was a, a Babylon Bee article. It was like, <laughs> every dad ever is like, it's not heavy, it's just oddly shaped. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah, it is. It's hard to carry like big long boxes and stuff. It's, it's awkward. Hi, buddy. <laughs> Angus, he's like, pet me, pet me. This guy just wants endless pets and snuggles, don't you? You like all the attention, don't you, Angus? You good boy, you. You good boy, you. It is weirdly shaped. Strong, oh. strong teenage boys. Oh, you want to go for a walk? We can go for a walk in a minute. Let's help the boys real quickly, okay? Angus, Angus. Come here, oh. <laughs> Angus, come here. Stinker. Like, I'm just trying to help. Can get it? All right, Simon. There we go. Go, go. Hooray. You guys get beds to sleep on too. <laughs> we, half you of us, get a bed and you get a bed. <laughs> half of us have just had our mattresses on the ground, but this is going to be great. And then we just got some new um, comforters in for you guys yeah. too. And I just need to order the desk chairs and then it'll be like a whole complete awesome teenage set. So I don't have this bathroom finished decorating yet, but this is what we have going on in the boys' bathroom so far. We did just kind of like this cool mountainy looking shower curtain, which I think is really cute. It kind of I'm a little bit more sophisticated than like some of the little boy stuff that you see since our kids are not quite as young anymore, especially all the teenagers. And then we're just kind of doing blue and green on the towels, like dark green and then light blue. Um, I need to get some stuff for up here, like maybe to more like wooden kind of things, like some wooden cups and things for like their toothbrushes and stuff. But I kind of like it. It feels like a little bit rustic, a little bit like mountainy, which, you know, that's kind of our kids' vibe. So I think that's gonna be really cute once we get a few more things in place. Okay, so now that it's daytime, you can kind of see the bed um, all put together. I think it looks really nice, like with the light coming in, but we do need to kind of warm up the room a little bit because the wall is pretty dark and we're gonna need to get a rug for down here. I don't know exactly what to do. Like, maybe you guys can comment down, like what should we do? What kind of rug? Like, Thank you. What kind of rug should we get, buddy? He's like, I'll help you, I'll help you decide. You can be my helper, Lincoln. Yeah, you can be my helper. I don't know if we need on just like a really big oversized one that kind of goes under the bed some too, or maybe just one like here. I think just an area rug in the middle would be fine. Yeah. yeah, at the foot of the bed maybe. Yeah. I don't know. I'm. I feel like rugs are one of the areas I don't feel super confident about styling. So. Um, I do think the simpler the better though. Yeah, yeah, something yeah. Something like patterny or whatever. No, something kind of neutral. <laughs> it's like, get out of the way. Um, it's something kind of neutral, but I, it's more about like the size and the shape that I just don't know. Yeah. Hi. It is nap time, so you see this? It's like <laughs> shaking up on me. You tired? Um, let me show you real quickly because the curtains came in. 
part is the uh, Roman shades, but I went ahead and got like this kind of tan color here. It's like the natural kind of like, I think they call it jute, right? It's pretty cool, yeah. And um, I like it. It has some good reviews. I like that it can, you know, it's not gonna completely cover, like it'll cover the windows, but it's- um, I'll still let in a little bit of light, see. yeah. Yeah, and you can still see the, like the black frame windows mm -hmm. if you want to. I think you just kind of, we, we did install these in the blue house. Yeah. Remember? Um, because we had neighbors like looking in. <laughs> they were. Like, hey, I saw you in your kitchen. I saw you guys. Yeah, and we're like, oh, okay, oh. we probably need to get some, like, <laughs> some shades up. Um, but this would look kind of nice. What do you guys think? Kind of goes with like the bed and all of that. And then you're supposed to install them like this. You're a little, there. need a little more height, babe. A little bit, you just think? A couple of I, I thought we could just put them right here. <laughs> but it's just like a couple of screws that go in there and then you can just pull it yeah. up and down. So yeah. maybe that instead of like just doing like the traditional curtains. Yeah. Or if we need to warm it up a little bit more, we could also do like some kind of cream colored curtains on either side. Yeah. And then have this in the middle. What it do we think? True. I like it. What do we think? <laughs> you guys can help me design this room. <laughs> um, and then we do have, I have like a nice um, light colored linen um, bedspread like duvet and all of that on here. It is funny. Okay, this looks get... very brown, but it's actually green. But exactly. compared to the green wall, it looks very brown, which yeah, kind of actually good. works. <laughs> yeah, this is just like a, a very comfy, like inexpensive thing that I got off of Amazon years ago. Yeah. So I haven't switched out for like the nice duvet yet. Um, I like it because it's like low maintenance because it's dark. Yeah. And you don't have to worry about like dirt and stuff showing yeah. up on it. Um, but I did want to get like a nice like kind of. Um, this is, this is what I had gotten to like put at the end here. Yeah. But I'm kind of rethinking this because I haven't even opened it and it has like some holes and stuff because yeah. it's kind of like a chunky knit. So I might return that and do more of like a quilt, maybe like kind of mm -hmm. like a warm brown quilt. Mm -hmm. What do you guys think? <laughs> so like just leave, down below. leave your suggestions for all of the different things for this room. And um, it's gonna be fun to put this together. I'll probably do this room while you're gone on your camping trip, Steven, <laughs> and then work on the boys' um, beds and that kind of stuff. But I'm excited to see this come together a little bit more. It's gonna take a few weeks to kind of get settled in, I think. Right, Linky? Are you sleepy? Maybe He's you should take a nap. He climbed in bed with me this morning. It was so cute. We just snuggled. So maybe, maybe we should have like a little nap time. That was together. a cute little dance, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> Angus. We should put that video of Angus, uh, of uh, Theo with Angus's uh, right there. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, like, Angus is, me, buddy. he's such a good boy. Yeah. He's so patient with the kitties. Yeah. And especially, <laughs> hang on. Especially Theo. Keep, keep petting me. Yeah, especially Theo because Theo's, you know, a kitten and so he's really playful. Yeah. And he like loves to play with Angus's tail. Yeah. So I can, I can put that up here from this morning. <laughs> He's like, leave me alone. <laughs> it's okay, Angus. You're such a patient boy. But he's such a good boy, aren't you, Angus? You're so patient. Yay. Yes, you are. I think we're going to go ahead and close out the vlog here since Stephen and the boys leave for their camping trip tomorrow. And I'll just keep working around here and then we can show you kind of some of the rooms put together and do some room reveals soon. Um, so I'm excited for that, but yeah, it's just kind of cra crazy chaos and all of that as we get settled, but it's good chaos and I'm very, very grateful for it. So we love you guys so much. We will see you in our next video. Bye. Bye. You say bye? Say bye. Say bye. <laughs> say, say bye. 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 <laughs> for your namesake, you will